This is Dr. Michael Hughes. I would like to discuss with you the problem with traditional sealants. Traditional sealants do not last. Let me show you a couple of examples. First young lady has had four sealants placed in less than two years ago. As you can see, this is actually the tooth with the most sealant remaining. This is where the sealant was placed, and this is what is left of it. The second young woman actually had two teeth sealed at a pedodontist office one year ago. This is the tooth that lost all of its sealant. There is no sealant sign whatsoever in this tooth. The second problem with dental sealants is they are placed over stain, biofilm, and decay by an assistant or a dental hygienist. This is a gentleman who just came into the office and he had finished brushing his teeth moments before coming in. And look at the plaque that is left deep inside the grooves. That is the reason we would like to seal these up. Assistants and dental hygienists do not have the tools or the ability to go in and clean these deep grooves adequately. If a dentist is able to place these, using the right tool, this is micro air abrasion, the most conservative way to go in and clean the grooves in the pits of the chewing surface on the tooth. Not all dentists use this, but it is much, much less invasive than using a drill. And it's more effective than any other technique. Fourth thing is sealants are incredibly weak. It's meant to be a temporary material. That's why dental assistants and dental hygienists are allowed to place it. So what is the solution? I'm coining the solution a super sealant. I have a video you can watch on super sealants and become more familiar with them. But here is an example of cleaning the deep grooves in the pits in a tooth with the micro air abrasion. Now we're going to etch the surface of the tooth with a mild solution of phosphoric acid. This opens up the, the microscopic pores in the enamel and we can place this bonding agent which will start to penetrate deep into the pores of the enamel. We cure this with a, with a dental curing light and it hardens little tags deep into the enamel. This is a permanent bonding. The material we use instead of a sealant is a permanent filling material. This is a bonded composite resin permanent filling material with ceramic chips embedded into this matrix. Once we get that in place, we can cure it with a light and we have a virtually bulletproof, permanent, long-term solution to the traditional sealant. So the answer, and what is wrong with dental sealants? A lot. The answer for fixing this problem is using super sealants. I hope this helps you to better manage your dental health care. Thank you.